Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking the cross section of a conductor made with two materials with resistivities rho1 and rho2 is shown in the figure 5.19. That's this one. Find the resistance of length L of the conductor. Okay. Now let's go ahead and draw this one in 3D. So we know what is L mean. Okay. So I'm going to draw this one in 3D. We are going to have a material like this and it's extended to the L length. Okay, so it's going to close like this. And also we have another material in the bottom. Let's, let's show that one with a different color. And that's also extra extended to the same length. Okay. Now here we are talking about this is the row 1 and this is row 2 and this distance is B and this distance is C and from here to here L okay so this is the question asking what is the resistance along this L here you can see this is uh, also this is A right here you can see this L like the both of the materials are in parallel so the resistance across this length L is going to be the resistance parallel right now we know that the resistance equation that's given by R is equal to rho L divided by A rho L divided by A so using that one we can find the R1 for each of this like R resistance for each of this material so let's go ahead and find R1 R1 is the resistance of the first material that's going to be what rho 1 times L the length is L divided by the area here this height is B and the width is A so this is going to be B times A that's going to be the area now if you look at R2 R2 is going to be what same thing but this is going to be rho 2 resistivity of the material is rho 2 times L is same length divided by C times A that's going to be the area C times A okay so we have R1 and R2 and we know that when we have resistance in parallel we find the equivalent resistance using this formula R1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 therefore R equivalent will be what R1 times product over sum R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 that's what we have to use in order to derive the final answer and we know that R1 and R2 in terms of rho L over A, right? We already know this one. R1 is this one and R2 is this one. Now let's go ahead and plug it right here and see what we get. R equivalent is going to be R1 that is rho 1 L, rho 1 L divided by B times A times R2 that is rho 2 L divided by C times A divided by R1 plus R2. R1 is what? Rho 1 L divided by B times A plus R2 is what? Rho 2 L divided by C times A. Rho 2 L divided by C times A. So here you can see, let's see what we can take common in this one. In this one we can take L common and also we can take the denominator A common so if we do that, this is going to be what we are going to have. Okay, so let's do this one right here. Uh, let's do it all together. So if I take L and A common, this is going to be rho 1 over B and here we will have rho 2 over C. Okay, so let, let's write this one in that way. So here what I'm going to do, let's use a different color. I'm taking L over A common. If I do that, this L will go away, this A will go away, this L will go away, this A will go away and now this is common, okay, this is common right now. So from this one you can see, if you take that one common, what's going to happen, this L and one of the L will cancel and this A and one of the A will cancel, 
here we have two a so one of the a will cancel so we are left with this one and also we can take the b c common denominator if you take the b c common denominator what's going to happen is we are we are going to have here c is going to multiply here b will multiply and to the common denominator will be b c b c okay so this b c is in the denominator and here like this will flip around and go to the top but here we have a b c dividing so we can cancel that one too so this b and this b cancels this c and this c cancels Finally, we end up with this expression that is row 1, row 2, L divided by row 1, C plus row 2, C and we have an A remaining. So we have to multiply that, where, that A. Here we have an A right here. So we have to multiply that A right here. And this is going to be our final answer. So that's going to be the resistant along the length L. And that's how we do that. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And this is row 1C. This is row 2B actually. Okay, this is B. So that's our final answer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.